What up, YouTubers and Rachel players? Welcome back to Dennis Fleeman's YouTube channel. In today's episode, we're going to unbox and review the retro handheld console from Atari. Or is it Blaze? Well, it's one of those products that is licensed by Atari. And it's actually a pretty cool console, a mini console, that came out in 2018, as you can see right here. And I just stumbled upon this by pure luck. I was browsing a local uh, toy store, the Intertoys in the Netherlands, and I stumbled upon this. Uh, let's take a quick look at that clip right now. I slipped up or I must have been living under a rock in 2018 because I know about the NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Mini, PlayStation Mini and even the Commodore 64 Mini but this one right here I, I, I didn't even know this existed and it's actually pretty damn cool I mean let's just take a look at the box real quick 50 built-in games including Asteroids, Pong, Centipede and Missile Command more about the games later and the box itself looks just pretty damn cool. I mean, whoa, whoa. And on the back, uh, this millipede or centipede artwork, I always get those two mixed up. And once again, we can read right here, oh, let's zoom in. Featuring a spectacular collection of classic titles, including Asteroids, Adventure, Breakout, Centipede, Mystical Command, Millipede, Punk, Sword Quest, and many more. Reimagined design with immortalized wood effect. It's not really wood, but more on that later. A 2.4 screen, 50 billion games, a TV AV output, and four AAA batteries. Not included, not AA, but AAA. And here we can see all the games that are on there. And I will talk a little bit more about the games later, but for now, let's get this out of the box. Once again, I would like to mention that I really like the box. It's one of those boxes that reminds me of, well, boxes for watches, for example. Really great packaging. All right, so Atari, powered by Blaze. A little commercial folder here with some uh, more Atari products or licensed products. And here we have some kind of manual, Atari retro handheld. The quick start guide can be found on that website. And on the back we have something interesting here or not? Important? Please be aware, two of the games included on this console were originally designed as multiplayer games. Ooh. Air Sea Battle and Maze Craze. Alright. Nice of them to mention that. And for the rest, well I think we can handle ourselves with this mini console or handheld. Just take a look at it. I mean, I just... No, I'm, that was not... A, I wanted to mention something, but that was a lie. I wanted to say I bought it right away, but I actually left the Intertoys store and I wanted to check this item online because Intertoys is a quite expensive toy store. So I thought this would be much cheaper online, but actually Intertoys had the cheapest price. Uh, almost 30 euros, 29.99 or 95. So um, yeah, let's take a quick look at the mini console itself. Let's start by removing this screen protector. And there we go, there's the screen. Looks nice, looks absolutely nice. I decided to put the screen protector back on. That's a little bit more handy for this review, so we don't have those nasty reflections. Uh, let's take a look at the front together. We have an A and B button. Those feel okay. Not the best quality, not the worst quality. Just okay. We have a start button right here. And we have a select button, and that seems to be like a power indicator. And this is what we call in Dutch the Vipunt Drukdoots. Yeah, or the joystick top. Could have been a little taller. But oh, it's overall, it's, it's okay, I guess. Let's see that, how that works out in real gameplay practice. Um, the Atari brand logo here. 
nice this isn't really wood it's plastic but it looks like wood and it has a nice finish overall I really love this design and it's just it sounds silly but it is sexy man <laughs> sexy um, well here we have the Atari Blaze copyright information 2018 and this side looks nice with the grooves here and the other side is the same let's take a quick look at the top we have our on off switch or headphone jack AV out yes you can actually connect this to your television and you can uh, control the volume over here and on the back we have once again blaze and an awesome Atari logo they really job they really did a triple a job when it comes to uh, the design of this uh, mini console so let's open this up real quick and you can see that's a an odd choice for triple a batteries instead of two double a batteries for example or um, something with a power adapter or something like that though so that's a odd design choice but hey if it works it works so um let's put in Let's put in some batteries and check out the gameplay. Let's see if we can actually enjoy some uh, Atari 2600 games on here. Here we go, power on. Wow, <laughs> that uh, took quite a while to boot. But we got an Atari startup screen, Atari Retro Handheld, powered by Blaze. Let's take a quick look at all the games, all 50 of them. 50 games are on here. Uh, 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, Adventure, that's a great game by the way. By the way, this is all my opinion. <laughs> Air Sea Battle, Asteroid, Absolute Classic, Blackjack, let's move to the next section. Centipede, Casino, Cannon, Bomber, Breakout, Bowling. We got Circus Atari, Crystal Castles. I have only seen the arcade cabinet, to be honest. Uh, Demons to Diamonds. <laughs> yeah, that's a top title. Desert Falcon, Dodgem. Then we got Haunted House, Gravitar, Golf. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, sorry about that. We got Golf, Fun with Numbers, Double Dunk, <clears throat> Home Run, Human Cannonball, Maze Grace. Millipede, another classic, Miniature Golf, then we got Quadron, Pong Video Olympics, Off the Wall, Night Driver, Missile Command, awesome game this. Uh, we got Radar Lock, Real Sports Football, Real Sport Tennis, Real Sport Volleyball, <laughs> Sprint Master, we got Submarine Commander, Street Racer, Stellar Track, Steeplechase, Super Football, Super best Baseball, Super Breakout, that's a great game by the way. And this is worth the handheld alone, because these games are very expensive, especially Waterworld. These are the Sword Quest games, known from uh, the AVGN episodes. And we got Tempest on here, Video Checkers, Video Chess, Video Pinball, and Jars of Revenge. This is also a great game. So, um, I actually grew up uh, with the Atari uh, 2600 still in the scene when I got the NES for the holidays I had the choice between picking up a second-hand Atari 2600 from my aunt or getting a brand new NES system for Santa Claus and Christmas so I just decided to go for the NES but I actually played with the Atari 2600 in the game uh, back in the day and let's pick out a game so I can uh, show you some uh, gameplay. Here we go. Centipede. So right off the bat, this isn't for everybody. This is for the hardcore gamers of my generation, people pushing 40, that uh, grew up with uh, the Atari and the NES. And if you're tired of a game, you just push select and start at the same time, 
and you're back. All right, time to wrap things up. My final conclusion, as a self-proclaimed retro video game expert, what do I think about this Atari retro handheld console from Blaze? Well, first of all, the looks, it's gorgeous, absolutely stunning, a sexy console. It looks absolutely great compared with the OG original Atari 2600. So it looks absolutely fine. There are 50 games on here and they play a little bit slower. These are PAL ROMs. This is PAL emulation. And I don't have a problem with that, but if you're an American and you import this, then you might um, <laughs> uh, see and experience a different kind of gameplay. Um, another thing that I would like to mention is that there are 50 games on here and the most uh, most of you might recognize some games from the AVGN episodes, but some absolute classics are missing on here. I mean, do I even need to mention E.T. E -E 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 -T. And Spider-Man is not on here, and a lot of other games that are probably not on here because of licensing issues. But the games that are on here, 50, those are great, and like I mentioned before, a Sword Quest, especially Waterworld, is a damn expensive game, so um, play it on here. That's much more cheaper and better and clearer. The screen is a little bit small, but I don't have a problem with that. The only downside that I can think about this small console is that it doesn't have an SD card or some kind of port to add more games to it. But all in all, I think it's pretty damn cool handheld console for only 29.95 or 99 so let's say 30 euros just go to the internet toys and buy it i guess well thanks for watching everybody i hope to see you guys soon in another video for now don't forget to like comment and subscribe i would like to know what you think about it and uh see you guys soon in another video bye